What is up guys and welcome to another episode of our maps tips and tricks series where we go through all the different kinds of maps and show you a bunch of cool spots that uh, you might not have known about before. Now today we're going to be covering all the cough maps or pretty much all the cough maps uh, minus one or two of them and uh, just an important thing to note uh, when we're going through these cough maps is that most cough maps are mirror maps meaning they are for all extensive purposes the same on each side uh, which means if I show you a spot on one side of the map it is probably also going to be available on the other side of the map so just keep that in mind uh, when we're going through all these things here. And uh, this first little spot here I'm showing you, you can obviously do on both sides as I just showed you, and it's just a great spot that you can use to shoot down into the spawn as people are walking out. Uh, now this spot here is a great one as sniper, if you just come along, stand on that little ledge there, you can actually shoot people right as they come out of spawn, and I tell you it is like shooting fish in a barrel. They're just running in a straight line and you should be able to get some really easy headshots, and uh, if you just want to mix up your position you can actually come up for a bit more of a height advantage up on this roof here, and uh, you're often very hard to see. Now, here we are on Cough King, which is going to be our second map today. Uh, and this roof here is really, really useful. But a lot of people think you can't get up there unless you're a soldier or a demo man or something. But uh, with that little jump there, you can, in fact, do just that. And an alternate way you can get up there is by actually jumping over here, then up onto the light post, then back up to the roof. And it's just a great way to shoot people and get the jump on them right as they're walking around that corner. Now, a second really cool place on this map is if you come up on this bus, uh, that's just a good spot by itself. But you can take it further by coming up over onto this sign and up here. Uh, and now a really, really good class to be up here as is actually the sniper because you get this great vantage point all the way across the middle where you can see pretty much everyone and people are very rarely going to look up to that spot where you're hiding. Uh, you can actually get over to that sign over there but I kind of screwed up the jump. This is another really useful spot. If you just come down these stairs, you can do a little jump, get onto the bottom of the roof there and it gives you a great little vantage point to shoot down on people from and escape chasing pyros and other things. Now this spot is just one above spawn, you can do this on both sides, we can kind of come up here, sit above the sign and just jump on people as they come out. You can do that as heavy, pyro, whatever you want. Now here we are on Nucleus. Now this one on Nucleus is one that I see very very few people use, but it's actually these little kind of barrier signs around the edge are a great little way of kind of circumventing that outer track where there are actually often a ton of enemies, but if you just come around the side here, jump along all these, you can kind of avoid a lot of the uh, crap that tends to be going on, it's just a great way to get around. Now, this one here is really, really cool, and it is an awesome sniper spot, one of my favorite sniper spots in the game, in fact. You can just come up on there, jump up on the roof here, and you get this awesome vantage point to shoot people as they're coming out of spawn, and it works for both sides of the map, so you can come around to the other side and shoot the other spawn as well. There is that little hole in the ceiling there that I never see anyone go through, and I don't really know the purpose. Uh, this jump here is actually unbelievably useful if you're trying to run away from enemies or just trying to get to the health pack from another spot. A lot of people assume that you can't actually do this because it looks like a really big gap but if you get your jump right on the edge there just before you fall off the edge you can do it. So here we are on Harvest and this first one isn't really a spot, it's more like a little trick and that's the fact that you can shoot through this little kind of crack in the window there, which is great when you're getting spawn camped by sticky demos and all that other crap that generally camps up on the roof there to keep you in spawn. Now, here we are as Spy, and this is just a great little trick to get from one roof to the other, and you can also stand on this mid-roof here. It's really cool if you do this jump as something like a heavy, and you can stand up here and like shoot down on people as they're trying to cap the point, and they'll never expect you to be there, and uh, you can be a bit of a nuisance. And uh, obviously you can just complete the jump and uh, jump over to the next roof there. So we're going to finish up here by just showing you a couple of scout ones on Harvest. Uh, this one's really, really useful for just uh, jumping up on that wheel, up on the bit of sheet iron, and then do a little double jump up onto the roof, and it's just a great little access point there. You can then go back and forth between the roof and the hut here if you just aim for the bottom corner of the kind of roof right there. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope some of these were useful and you guys can put them to use in some of your games. Uh, I'm going to show you one more here where you can just kind of sit above their spawn and uh, kind of shoot people and give them a bit of a fright as they come out of spawn. But thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.